Good evening. I'm Chris Torres. Tonight I am presenting one in a series of episodes examining checkmating patterns in a show named Checking Time. Tonight's checkmating pattern has been a favorite tactical motif of amateurs and masters alike for over five centuries and is now commonly referred to as Philidor's Legacy. Philidor's Legacy is a combination of tactics, starting with double check from a knight and a queen, followed by the sacrifice of the queen, and finally ending in a smothered mate delivered by the knight. It's worth noting that the first occurrence of this exact pattern was published by Lucina in 1497, and not Andre Philidor, who repopularized the concept in his own book some two centuries later. Philidor's legacy belongs to a broader category of mating patterns known as the smothered mates. A smothered mate must be delivered by a knight, and the mated king's escape squares must be filled by his own pieces. Hence it is known as the smothered mate because the king is literally smothered by his pieces. As always, let's start with the most basic premise of the mate and then move on to more practical examples of Philidor's legacy. Enjoy. Here is our most basic formula for Philidor's legacy. This is a mate in three. I will give you 15 seconds. The first ingredient of Philidor's legacy is the double check with the queen and knight. Obviously, if the king goes to f8, queen f7 is checkmate. So after knight h6 check, the king goes to h8. The next ingredient is the queen's sacrifice. Note the queen is being backed up by the knight. Therefore, the rook must capture the queen. The final ingredient of Philidor's mate is the knight delivering the forced smothered mate. Now that we understand Philidor's mate, let's try and spot it in our practical examples. Our first game tonight is James McConnell versus Paul Morphy. It was played in New Orleans in 1849. After Morphy played knight f2 check, McConnell responds with 21 king g1, and now Morphy has a mate in three using Philidor's legacy. I will give you 30 seconds. Knight h3, double check from the knight and the queen. King is forced to go to h1. Queen g1, check, and the queen is guarded by the knight. The rook must recapture. Rook takes queen. Knight f2, check, mate. Now let's go to another practical example. Our next example is from Cochrane versus Mohishunder, which was played in 1855. Black has just played knight 18, knight a5. Now white has a checkmate in three using Philidor's legacy. Can you spot it? I will give you 30 seconds.
knight h6, double check, king h8, queen g8, the queen sacrifice, rook takes g8, and knight f7, check mate. Let's look at another example. Our next game is Henry Bird versus an amateur, 1869. Black has just played 11 knight f6. How can white use Philidor's legacy to mate in three? I'll give you 30 seconds. Knight d6, double check, king d8, queen e8, again she is backed up by her knight, rook takes e8, knight f7, check mate. Our next example comes from the first known demonstration of Philidor's legacy. This composition was created by Luis Ramirez de Lucina all the way back in 1497. White to move and mate in five. I'll give you one minute. Queen e6, check. Knight f7, check. Knight h6, double check. Queen g8, the queen sacrifice. Rook takes g8. And finally, knight f7, check mate. Our next example comes from the game Jan Timmen versus Nigel Short played in Tilburg in 1990. Black has just played 25 rookie 8 and now white has a mate in 5 using Philidor's legacy. Can you spot it? I will give you one minute. Queen c4, check. King h8. Knight f7, check. King g8. 
Knight h6, double check. King h8. Queen g8, sacrificing the queen, check. Rook takes g8, is forced. Knight f7, smothered mate. Let's look at another example. Our next game is Mark Hebden versus John Nunn, played in London in 1979. White has just played 25, qx, b3, and now black has a mate in 5 using Philidor's legacy. Can you find it? Qx d4 check, king h1, knight f2 check, king g1, knight h3 double check, king h1, queen g1 check, rook takes g1, knight f2 check mate. Let's look at another example. Our next game is Siegbert Tarish versus Kolb, Nuremberg, 1894. Black has just played 24, King c8. White has a mate in 5 using Philidor's legacy. Can you spot it? Knight takes f6, check. King b8. Knight d7, check. King c8. Knight b6, double check. King b8. Queen c8, check, sacrificing the queen. The rook is forced to capture the queen on c8. And knight d7, Check mate. Let's look at another example. Our next example is from Samsonov versus Nezhmetinov, played in the Kazan Championship, 1929. After white plays 11 bishop e2, black has a mate in 5 using Philidor's legacy. Can you spot it? I will give you one minute.
Qh4, check. King d1. Knight f2, check. King e1. Knight d3, double check. King d1. Queen e1, check. Rook is forced to capture queen. Knight f2, smothered mate. Let's look at another example. Our next example comes from the game Paul Morphy versus Schroefer, Paris, France, 1859. Black has just played move 19, king to c8. White has a mate in 6 using Philidor's legacy. Can you find it? I will give you one minute. Knight c5, check. King b8. Knight d7, check. King c8. Knight b6, double check. King b8. Queen c8, check. Rook is forced to capture. Knight d7, smothered mate. Let's look at another example. Our next game is Paul Morphy versus Thomas Jefferson Bryan, New York, New York, 1859. After black plays 18 queen g4, white has a mate in 7 using Philidor's legacy. Can you spot it? I will give you one minute. Queen a3 check is correct. In the actual game, the king went to g8. Morphy played knight e7 check. Black plays king f8. Morphy played knight g6 double check. King goes to g8. Queen f8, forcing the rook to capture. Knight e7 check mate. Black could have lived slightly longer. Had he, after queen a3 check, chosen to block with queen b4? Queen takes b4 check. Bishop c5 can also block. Queen takes c5. King now has to go to g8. Knight e7 check. King f8. Knight g6 check. King g8. Queen f8 check. Rook takes f8. And again, a nice smothered mate by knight e7. Let's look at one final example. Our last game today is Alexander Alekhine versus Menzel, 
played in Boston, Massachusetts in 1923. After Black plays 29, Knight takes A8, White has a mate in 7 using Philidor's legacy. Can you find it? I will give you 90 seconds. Queen c8 check is correct. Queen e8, queen takes e8, rook f8, queen takes e6 check, king h8, knight f7 check, forcing the king to step into the line of the double check. Knight h6 double check. King h8, Queen g8, check, forcing the rook to take, smothering his own king. And finally, knight f7, check, mate. I hope you enjoyed my episode on Philidor's legacy. Please remember to keep playing chess and always schedule a moment for checking time. I am your host, Chris Torres. Please like and subscribe.